Welcome back on CentOS 7 Tutorials. Today I will show step-by-step -step guide how to set up web server using NGNIX, MySQL and PHP. For this purposes, I have prepared my virtual machine with CentOS 7 CentOS 7. Okay. Now we should install some packages and add some wrappers. Okay, first of all we will add EPL release latest wrapper and web static release RPM. That's it. Now we will run yum update info to our system has load information from our new wrappers that's it okay uh, i have prepared command for install php version 5 and php version 7 today we will install php version 7 Also, with PHP we will install MariaDB database, it is the same database like MySQL, but with some fixes and performance adjustments. NGNI X version 1.8, uh, WGET, PHP FPM and PHP extensions. And B string, gd, pdo, pdo database lib and mysql. Yes. 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 That's it. All new packages are installed with their dependencies. Now we will go into our root directory. For testing purposes, I will download PHP my admin to show how our PHP will work and database. Okay, how to download archive from PHP my admin website. That's it. Now we will okay. We have downloaded it. I create in our root folder www.dir. Okay, and move our PHP to this directory. That's it. Now we can see that we have PHP in directory www. Now I will create sim link to our PHP directory in order to create just a short name and easy configuration. That's it. Now we will proceed with install configuration of our database we will enable our database to start up at system startup that's it and now start our database okay let's check how it is working Sorry. Okay, now we can see that our database are working and listen. Okay, 
Now we will run MySQL secure installation. We does not have a password on our database currently, so we does not enter in anything. I'm setting up our password right now. Retype. That's it. Remove anonymous users. Dizella root login remotely. Remove test database. And reload privileges. Okay, our database are ready to work. Now we will configure our PHP FPM diamond. Okay. Uh, in basic configuration, we should uh, pay attention on from which user and group will be our PHP instance running. Uh, by default, it's using Apache user and Apache group. We left it as is. Also, please pay attention that PHP could work via local host and using some TCP port. Also, it, it, it is available to work via sockets. Right now we will work via localhost and TCP port. Save file and enable PHP FPM. Now start PHP FPM. That's it. Check how it's working. Okay, our PHP demo are working. Good. Now we will enable our engine in IX. Start it. Check how it's working. Okay, our master process and worker are working. So, our server almost ready to handle connection. If we check, right now it is that uh, it is unreachable. It is because we should open uh, www tcp port in our system. For this purpose, as I have prepared command. That's it. Now we can check that the system are working. Yeah, that's it. Okay, now we will configure our virtual host in order to show PHP my admin instance uh, and one more uh, virtual host where we show PHP info. Okay, now I will create a CNG and IX conf d test one log using our dns name as name of our virtual host and conf that's it i have prepared the configuration previously so i just copy it that's it in our server configuration you can see that we are waiting for requests from port 18 we have set server name test one lock and www.test1.lock we will write any errors which, which appears in our test one lock error lock file uh, set uh, our www.pma dir as uh, access to our application and uh, said that when um, request coming to the server first of all it looking looking for index php file then index html file and after that index htm also, if we will find PHP files, they will be redirected to our location and 
uh, will be passed to our PHP FPM daemon, which listen on localhost 8000 port TCP. Okay, save. That's it. Now I will create in our www.d uh, test2.log directory. Then I will create in this directory index php file insert php php info that's it this code is enough to show all information about php on our web page now we will need to create to our test2.log configuration file so I will go to ATC engine scan D. We can see that currently we have only test one dot file. I will copy it into the same file, but name test two point log and edit it. In our configuration, I will change server name to test two and error log file also i will change the path for our web application it will be test two point log everything else i left the same as is because this configuration is enough for working that's it now uh, i need to create uh, var php session directory it need to our php for creating and saving their sessions and add for user apache writes to read our web application and accept it has an RP it has it must have rights uh, to create in, in our PHP session and PHP directory files so we will add that's it and restart nginx engine ix Okay, our configuration are almost finished. Now we will check that our PHP my admin are working. I will, will back later to it and test to that log that we will have access and we can see that we have PHP version seven all information about our PHP, which extension lo was loaded, uh, which configuration was loaded, and others. Okay, PHP my admin. We have set our root password. Now we will enter it, and we will have access to our database from our web server. We can see that uh, server type is Maria database, which using NGNIX and PHP version seven. Let's create some test database. Test database. Allocation we will set to UTF eight general C. Create test table with four fields uh, first field we will name id uh, type int outer increment primary key yes uh, next three fields we will set varchar test first name test last name 
and test email for example save oh. and put the length 25 charters save okay our table has created let's insert some value we will add test first name test surname test email.com okay record was inserted we can browse the database and we can see that our record was inserted in our database so this configuration is working fast it's really flexible I uh, I think you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe subscribe on my channel. Bye bye.